Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Hi everyone. It's me, Dan. Um, it is that time of the month. It is everyone's favourite video, mine included. It is completed pages. Now, as you already know, I've done a video earlier this week, basically just explaining why I've been quite quiet. Um, and basically that's why I've not got um, <clears throat> as much done as I thought I was going to get done. I'm not remotely bothered. Like I've had a brilliant summer, I feel rested, I feel relaxed. Um, and the colouring that I have done, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So I've not got as much as I thought I would get done. I've not got as much done as I got previously. Um, but obviously I had COVID and didn't really have anything to do. Um, but what I've got done, I do really, really like. And there's a couple of buddy colours um in here as well the first thing i've got to show you is in this it's in the carry garmin 2022 calendar and it is the whip it's the january page it is the green man um that's why i'm calling him anyway i did this on a live stream and then i haven't really come back to it um i kind of know what i'm going to do i'm going to bring down this brown and turn it into like green um same here so he, he's almost part of the leaves um it's going to be a bit of metallic green on these like ferns um but really when i sit down and do it it's probably not going to take me me very long to finish now um i'm just going to stick to watercolors i think a bit of gel pen and that's it and i've used the Karen Dash museum aquarels um which are beautiful beautiful pencils I'm definitely going to get some more i just need to like work out what i've not what I've got and what I've not got um, and get myself a pencil case for them. So I'm gutted really. I bought this with the intention of colouring every page <laughs> per month and I'm going to show you how many I've done. So I did this lovely buddy colour with Anne from um, Pretty Pages 71. Didn't do March. Didn't do April didn't do may which one i was really really gonna do because it's my birthday month didn't do it or june or july i love this page though or august i might do this i'm going to set up a mission here and now to do this page this month um this will definitely be getting done because we are going full on witchy next month. I can't wait to embrace the Halloween. Um, so yeah, a little bit gutted. My plan for this to colour every month didn't really work. I love this page. It's absolutely stunning. And this is turning out quite nice as well. The paper's beautiful. Waskull works really well. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it done this month. You'll probably see it finished at the end of September. Um, next, I'll do this one. This was done right at the beginning of the month. Um, it was in Nature Mandalas, which is my Pamini chapter kind of go to. I didn't think I was going to buy this book. Um, it's a mandala book. I'm not a mandala person. They bore me immensely, but these are different enough to not be a mandala. Like, this is very Circle of Life, which I love that book. So, um, I did a buddy colour in this with Sam from Sam Wears Colouring. Um, and we did this tropical page. I have done everything. Yeah, I based absolutely everything in Spectrum Noir and then used Prismacolor on top of it. Um, there is a tiny, tiny little bit of Pentel Jewel Hybrid, the orange, just like in these little things. I didn't know what they were. They probably should be leaves, but I thought I'd add a bit of bling. Um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I blended in these beaks um, with the alcohol markers and then just added some pencil over the top as well. Um, I actually loved this page. It's full of tiny, tiny, tiny little details, but I loved working on it from start to finish um i think the first thing i did is i just sat one night and did all of the leaves and you know when you're coloring you're like oh my god the leaves there's so many leaves i literally just used one color green um it was apple spectrum noir illustrator apple i think 
Yeah. Um, to do all the leaves, then I just use one dark green prism color over the top. Um, and then I did like I just done it in sections. So I did all the leaves, which was quite a lot of the page. Then I did the branches. Then I just did animals. So like I did these two at the same time. Did these at the same time. I did these at the same time. The um, chameleons at the same time. So it didn't feel as daunting because I was just concentrating on one little section all the time. And then before I knew it, I was like, oh, we're finished. And I loved it. So I will definitely, definitely do something else in this. Whether it's this month or not, I don't know. Um, but I really like the paper. I love that it's single-sided because I can use markers. Um, whereas Circle of Life's not, so I wouldn't use markers in it. Um, I did mark this because I do love it. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that one next. But it's a beautiful book. It's just fine, tiny, tiny details. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that. And Sam's page is really colourful. Um, I'll actually insert it here. So really colourful page. Um, I just went a bit pedestrian, a bit boring. But really, really had fun. Loved it. And it was the first page during this book. So thanks for that, Sam. Loved it. Next was a little page in here. Um, I just felt like doing something simple, really. So I did the Hecate page, which I did post on Instagram. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you will have seen it. Um, she is just absolutely stunning. I love her. I actually sat and did this one afternoon, like in some holidays, just sat on the couch and just did it in one go. Um, the hair, I, everything is based in alcohol marker, as you can see. Um, this grey blue, I can't remember what it was now, I think it's a vintage blue maybe, or blue grey, I can't remember, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And then I went over the top of the hair with Prismacolor and then used the white Prismacolor as well. And it, it, as soon as I added that white, I was like, oh, I actually love this, like she's got glossy blue black hair. Um, I loved how it turned out. Her skin was that gorgeous pro marker, um, this one. I'm obsessed with it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful um, skin tone. It's dusty pink. I'm definitely going to get some more of them. It's just gorgeous. It is like a pinky. It is a dusk, dusky pink. But for some skin tones, it's absolutely stunning. Um, we've got a bit of, I think I used Calero on the um, triple symbol at the back. This is some Pentel Jewel. Some Pentel Jewel is spread all over the place. Um, and the back is Distress Ink, which is the green. So the, anything gr the green is Distress Ink. Um, and then the black is a black um, dew drop ink, which doesn't actually react to water, but I forgot about that when I did it. But the Distress has reacted to the water really, really well. And it also had this like kind of grayscale inky, like, wetness in the background anyway so i feel like it went really well with that page um i absolutely loved it loved it she's really cool she might be my favorite page of the month love her and um, i have got another whip in here that i completely forgot about and i'll be honest i forgot about it because i don't like it i used the completely wrong color for the skin I'll try and fix it, I think. I'm not going to leave it like this. I've just realised this moon isn't clear all because it's the Tim... Is it? No, that is clear all. This isn't... This is um, Distress Paint, uh, Tarnished Brass. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, yeah, I'd used the wrong pair. I had a... Um, Arteza skin tone alcohol marker, um, Everblend, sorry, at the side of this couch. I just picked it up and started colouring, and it dawned on me that it wasn't the colour I thought it was. I had two um, next to me downstairs, one like her colour, which was this colour, and the skin tone. I just picked the wrong one up without looking and started whacking it down. I thought, oh, I've done it now. 
I can't fix it, so I'll just do it all. So I did all the skin in that, apart from that shoulder there, which still needs to be done. I think it was this colour, actually. Let me just have a quick look. No, it's not that. Maybe it's still downstairs. But yeah, so I did this and then just completely thought, oh, I don't like it. And I just put the book away and left it. But I'm going to finish it because I don't really like leaving pages not finished. And I think I can probably pull it off. Um, she's just going to have to, it's probably just going to be a very dark page. Um, might give her like red hair um, and then use like a black prisma to kind of give her that like blacky ready hair. But I need to do a shoulder. Just notice that. And the snake. So it's kind of like a little bit, similar style to the Hecate one but you know when you just think oh I can't believe I've just done that but never mind it's a whip it'll get done um it's in this so I'm not I'm not that fussed I don't feel like I've I've ruined a page or anything so yeah I love this book I've not really done much in it though that's I've done that Hecate page and I've done the anxiety page which I love which is here um but yeah, so never mind. Bit of a bit of a boo-boo there. Um we have another one in Angelic Beauties, which Rachel Mint kindly sent to me um, to do a flip through um on the channel and to have a colour and see what I thought. So I shared my feelings on the book. But I did this page, I actually really like how she turned out. I'm obsessed with this rose gold washi, it's beautiful. Um I think I used Spectrum Noir, I'd, yeah, it's Spectrum Noir. Um, illustrator, and this was a tri-blend, the herb was a tri-blend. It was quite heavily grayscaled anyway, so I didn't really need to do much shading. Um, flowers were as well. It was just to sit on the couch afternoon and just have a little bit of a play and see like how things work in this book. Um, but yeah, she turned out quite nice. She's like very realistic looking, which is not really like my thing. It's almost like a photograph, but there are some lovely pages in it. And if I, if I want just like a, a quick colour, I'm going to come to this because it, it really doesn't need hardly any shading whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I quite like it. I like the colour palette. It It is what it is. It was just a bit fun. But this washi tape, chef's kiss. So that was Angelic Beauties 2, a grayscale colouring book for adults. Next up is Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, A Fancy Art Adventure. This was new um, and I wanted to get a page in here and Zoe from Dirty to Colouring asked if we wanted to buddy. I know that Zoe's not been very well so she's not got round to finishing hers yet but hers looks amazing so I can't wait to see it finished. But we did The Angel of Starlight. Um, I literally... I've only just finished this. It's she has been finished for for weeks. Um, the background I started with ink tents and I didn't like it. Um, they were like really um, pencil marky. I could see all the markings. I thought, oh, I'll cover it in distress ink. Then I was like, no, I can't be bothered. And then I thought, oh, I know watercolor. And I was like, I'm not doing that. So then I thought, right, let's just acrylic it. Um, and I used a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, I use two beautiful colours actually. I used this Deco Art Americana Poetic Plum and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, like rich plum colour. Um, but my application of it was horrendous and I thought I can't be bothered to do another layer because this page has been finished for weeks and it just needs to be done now. Um, so I got another Deco Art one which I've had for absolutely ages. It's the Multisurface Satin in raspberry and I literally just dabbed it over the top so if you it because it's satin it does have a bit of a sheen but can you see like over like what would be the matte acrylic there's this kind of like I was kind of going for like a gassy kind of nebula kind of look but I was gonna a splatter white ink and I thought nah I'm done let's just put some washi on the rose gold washi again live in um put that on just to tidy up the edges because there was acrylic everywhere she is done in based in Albert Jorette with Prismacolor over the top and they work beautifully in this book I love the wings the hair is quite nice I used a lot of white Prisma on it um 
and the tights are quite nice. There's some pentel dual metallic on her sort of bodice dress um, and some stickles which kind of went a little bit everywhere on the stars. Um, yeah, I struggled. I struggled from start to finish on this page. I, I kind of knew what I wanted to do but I just couldn't get it there and I was just lacking motivation to do it but I've done it. Um, and I'm sure Zoe's is going to look fab. So when she's done, you keep an eye on her Instagram and her channel because I'm sure she'll show everyone. Um, but yeah, first page done in this gorgeous, gorgeous book. I just found it a struggle. I didn't really know what to do. Which I just think they're, they're different to what I would normally because they're beautiful and I love them. I've got the Colour in Heaven issue as well, but I just didn't really know what, how to tackle them. I feel like I do now. Um like I love this I'm gonna get this I'm gonna do this one but like the backgrounds to me are very intimidating because they're so sparse so that's why I just thought I'm just colouring that all in so that might be a way forward um but she is in a graveyard which I do like um I'm going to mark that as a Halloween option. But yeah, so thanks Zoe for doing that buddy colour with me. I've got a page done in a new book, which is great. Um, It was the month of the buddy colours because I feel like I've only actually done buddy colours and not done any, <laughs> any colouring because I've just, I've honestly had a ball. Um, This is Josh Lee's Flower Ladies. I've had this for absolutely ages and again, been a little bit intimidated to do anything just because I, I, I couldn't really see how I was going to tackle the pages. Anyway, thank you to Jojo Zahane who asked me to do a buddy in this and we picked the Tiger Lily page and as soon as I saw her, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. She was Chun Li Out Street Fighter. That's all I could see. I could see blue, white, tight, gold, Badass. So I did her. Um, I was going to do a bit of ink on this, but on the the background around. But you know what? I I just kind of like how much she like boom pops off the page. Um, it's a full alcohol base, as you can see. Apart from like the detail, which was a pencil jewel, which is everywhere. These get everywhere. Um, and then I used. I think I may have used some Prisma and I also think I used um, Brute Vina Squares. They work beautifully on this page. Um, but I, should, I tried some different things. So like I love this, how her like kind of tights or boots, whatever they are, look like they have a sheen to it because I, I burst them in like a cream and then put, no, I never, I didn't do anything with them. I didn't burst them, I don't think. No, I didn't. I didn't base the boots and the shorts. So I used a light blue to just shade and then I used the cream over the top and was like, oh, it looks like the shiny. There is some Pentel Jewel in her, like her clips. Um, her face is really cute. Her blush looks really good and her eyes look really good. Um, and obviously she is blinged to the gods. And there's like a little bit of bling on these flowers just because when I looked at tiger lilies they did have these like orange dots on and I thought I can't bother with that so I'll just use a bit of it's not bling it is in paint pen acrylic paint pen so just to do the dots all over it and the like is it the stamen in the middle I did that as well I'm going to put Jojo's version here um, beautiful and we had a conversation and, and Jojo was like if we were both playing as Chun-Li fighting each other what colour would her Chun-Li look like so I loved it and I got a page doing this and it kind of made me think actually I can't wait to tackle more in this book now because I feel like I've done one I absolutely adore this stunning page and the mandrake one like the egyptian and her she's fabulous so i probably will tackle another one of them now i feel quite brave um i've lost tiger lily 
There she is. But yeah, his background is just alcohol mark. I didn't do anything with it. It just kind of dried how it dried. And I thought, oh, quite like it. It's like a, a almost apocalyptic sky. And I just thought, let's do the sun bright red. Blood moon. Don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like how it all works together, actually. It's quite a good one. Nice. So thanks, Jojo. I fully appreciate that ruddy colour. Thanks for giving me a little bit of a boost to get that done. And finally, I told you I've not done much this month, guys. This is the last page of the month. It is in Mythic World Colour Timeless Legends by Kirby Rosens. Um, this was a buddy colour as well. With Jackie from Spur, Spur Room Studio. I think I've, I hope I said that right. Um, we did this beautiful beautiful page this page stood out to me straight away i knew exactly what color she was going to be she was going to be like red silk that kind of like blended into gold she was going to have like gold details um i kind of knew like what color the woodwork was going to be the paneling was going to be like this was just one of those pages like a spider legs i knew exactly what i wanted to do how i wanted it to look and then jackie sent me her version and it looked like this We could not believe it. We had literally picked the exact same colour palette. We didn't plan it. We didn't talk about it. We were just like, we were kind of just in sync. We just did it. Um, I have added some metallic um, details to her, um, I'm going to say kimono, whether that's right or not, um, and this big belt. There's a little bit of white gel pen on the webs. Um, and some of the same gold down here on the panel. But I love it. I love how she turned out. She's got a little bit of blush on her face. She's got these like creepy, dirty, sort of almost turned into clawed hands. Um, it was a lot of Albert Jorah. So all of this woodwork um, is Albert Jorah. Like all down here on the floor, there's no pencil work whatsoever. If you watch the colour and catch up, I did a tiny little bit of pencil work on these like wooden beams. But apart from that, all of this up here is just Albert Jorah. And I am thrilled to bits with how it turned out because I feel like that's what I'm going to do in future if I've got like wood to colour because it just looks really realistic to me. I know people are far better, but... I really like how that's turned out. I did kind of want the background to be kind of plain and she kind of like jumped out. Um, I feel like I've achieved that. I'm not sure this was a bit bold, but I've done it now. There's some um, secure jelly roll glaze on there as well. Um, but yeah, as I say, I love this book. I love Kirby's books. So I'm loving now like how how this is like all coming together and we have another body colour lined up but I'm going to keep that as a surprise I'm going to do that this month I think um but yeah I'm really liking the pages and loving kind of the direction that I'm going with it um, and that's it yeah but yes, I'm going to go. This is my absolute favourite page of the month. I just enjoyed it from start to finish. I enjoyed being a bit creative, trying new things, like blending this yellow into the red. I was thrilled with how it turned out, to be honest. Um, the webbing is a little bit dark, but never mind. Um, and the wood, the woodwork, I'm obsessed with. It looks to me really really good so really hope you enjoyed those pages this month there's not much there hopefully i'll get a bit more done i am already cracking on this month's pages so we should have a few more done um as opposed to this month but as always thank you so much for watching if you are still here then give us a little thumbs up um leave us a comment which was your favorite page and i will see you all in the next video very shortly thanks for watching guys Adios.